Hey there, you're listening to The Mighty Mommy with some quick and dirty tips for practical parenting. I'm not usually one for discussing topics that are completely self-serving, but this week I'm calling out to the parents of school-aged children. What's with the crazy driving in the school parking lots? Have you seen this? Everyone is in such a hurry to pick up or drop off their child that it seems that the idea of safety is hiding deep in the recesses of their mind. Every person I've mentioned this to has responded with a story about how someone they knew or someone at their school was in an accident or almost in one. I certainly don't want to have one of those stories to tell. On the first day of school, if not earlier in an orientation, pay attention to any and all of the rules of the school parking lot. There should also be signs around the lot explaining which lanes are for dropping off, picking up, parking, or for buses. If you're uncertain about where to park or which lanes are for what specific activity, be sure to ask. At the beginning and the end of each normal school day, there should be teachers or parking lot attendants outside monitoring activity in the parking lot. Pay attention to the directions they're giving and ask them questions if you're not sure where to go. It's important for everyone to follow the same guidelines so that each driver and child knows what to expect. Drivers who park and leave their cars unattended in a drive through lane not only pose a safety hazard, they are also being an annoyance. Don't be that person. If you need to park and leave your car, please park in an appropriate spot. So you know you're following the rules, but what about the kids? Your kids will be told by the school how to behave, of course, but you should absolutely reinforce this. If you're driving your children to and from school, make sure you discuss the procedure ahead of time. If you'll be meeting them in a specific location, or if it could vary from day to day, your children will need to know what to expect from you. Teach your children how to use crosswalks properly, and advise them that walking, running, or horse playing in the parking lot is unacceptable. Young children should hold hands and be escorted directly to the vehicle. Older children should be reminded to look both ways before walking into a parking lot and to wait until traffic areas are clear and safe before walking through them. If the parking lot is extremely clogged, you may want to consider parking off-site but nearby and allowing your older children to walk to the car using a safe route and available crosswalks. When you are driving through the parking lot, please consider the children and the other drivers. When you're driving through the parking lot, please consider the children and other drivers. Instead of being angry and frustrated, Choose to be patient and generous. If someone needs to pull out in front of you, leave some space. Instead of speeding up so you don't lose your place, give your place to the other parent who is also trying to find a safe way out of the mayhem. Avoid, if you can, making immediate after-school plans that might cause you to feel like rushing. There's never a reason to drive over 5 miles per hour in the school parking lot. Also, be sure to obey the speed limits posted on the street in the school zones. When you make eye contact with another driver, Offering a small but friendly smile will usually yield positive results. Finally, I'd like to share a tip I learned in a relaxation seminar I once attended. While driving anywhere, including school parking lots, if you start to feel tense, the tension will most likely appear in your neck and shoulders. If you begin to feel frustrated or tense, take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. At the same time, force your shoulders down. Relaxing the shoulders will help you to become more centered and you'll be able to focus on your surroundings better. It's important that you are alert and aware of your surroundings at all times while you are driving. School parking lots are full of cars and children, and the more patient, relaxed, and alert you can be, the better. Before I go, I'm absolutely thrilled to let you know that Grammar Girl's new book, The Grammar Devotional, is finally in stores. It has 365 easy tips, quizzes, cartoons, and puzzles to help you be a better writer. That's it for now. If you'd like to request a topic for the Mighty Mommy, you can email me directly at mommy at quickanddirtytips.com or leave a message by calling 206-202-2185. This is your friend, the Mighty Mommy, wishing you happy and fun parenting. Mm -hmm.